Okay, so today we worked on some of the advanced ways of holding pads, okay? And this just remind ourselves when we hold our pads here, what are we trying to accomplish? When you're holding the pad, you're trying to emulate you as the target, okay? So you're the, you're the opponent, okay, all right? So if I hold my pads way out here, he's punching way too wide, okay, all right? The idea when we hold this pad, he's trying to punch to my head, so I bring it to the center, okay? Okay, all right? Same thing if I hold for hook. If I hold hook way out here, way too wide. He wants to hit the side of my jaw. So that way hold it in the center. Oh, good, okay? When you hold pads, a lot of people try to crank the pads. I don't like cranking the pads. Cranking is called this. Like when he throws a cross, you slam in there, okay? All right? And what happens is that you run the risk of injuring the person's hand, okay? All right? Plus also, I feel like my fighters are much more accurate with the punches because when I hold, see they, I move it very little. And the target is almost, you know, is almost, it's almost there, so the accuracy is much more as opposed to cranking the pads, okay? A lot, it looks good when you crank the pads, but it, it, I don't feel it's safe, you know? And I feel that sometimes the fighter, you're just arbitrarily catching the pad, catching the punch, and you don't really know the accuracy of the punch, okay? All right? So same thing when, the, when you hold for the kick here. If I hold the kick way out here, okay, my body is right here, and that's why you want to hold the pads really close to your body. Good. Just lean into it just a little bit. Good, uh huh. Same thing here. Good again. So a lot of people want to hold the pads. Sometimes they put the pads together. All right. And I do that only to make sure if they're catching, I uh, catching their shin. Okay. But when you become more advanced, you can actually hold the pads almost like an A-frame here. Good, and you can still catch the kick. Okay, still catch the kick. All right. Okay. So today we worked on low kick. All right, and the different ways we can hold for low kick. All right. One of the first ways we do is we flip the pads over. Okay. And with the gap here. All right. Put that in between our thigh right here, okay? Good, huh? Same thing here. Good. And so it gives them a better target, and the target is usually around the middle of the calf here, all right? When holding the pad this way here, he can kick straight low kick. Good. He can also chop the low kick, which is when you come dip and chop to kick down. So when I hold the pad a little bit more upward, he can chop to kick down, okay? In here. Good stuff, okay? The other way of holding, the low kick is actually putting one pad against the other, right here like this. Good, or here. Good, okay. So this one, this one, you, it, it's a good way, he only catches one pad, which is actually, he's be catching one leg, okay? All right, it's, it's still a good way of doing it. Good, uh-huh. The contact doesn't feel quite the same, okay? But the most accurate way is the last one we did. We actually put the corner of the pad here, against our leg here, huh? Good. That way he has the right target. He sees my leg, he sees the target, Good, huh? The same here, and don't put the hand against the leg. It's the corner of the pad here, okay? Good, huh? And again, if you want to live dangerously, okay, you can do the same thing for the inside leg. So here's the inside leg kick, this example. Mm -hmm. Boom, he wants to kick that thigh here, right? Same thing, okay? You hold it in there against your leg here. When you do this one here, you gotta have a wide stance, okay? All right? Good, okay? Because if you do a narrow stance here, whoa, man! I still need those, okay? All right? All right? And so, if you haven't met your quota of kids yet, then you, you know, make sure you have a wide stance. And that's when you start developing trust with your partner. You know, when you start developing a lot more trust with them. And so, when you do, you start working on a rhythm. Ideally, when we hold pads, we no longer talk about holding combinations, I don't call it any combinations. When I'm holding pads with my fighters, I just hold them and he hits or he hits and I catch him. So we don't go one, two, hook, cross, whatever. We just hold and it just kind of just goes, okay? okay.